Hello again, this is the last video that I'll be making on paint.net. After this, you are on your own. Um, I'm going to show you, you know, how to take an element from one picture, put it on top of another, maybe play with lighting a little bit to change the mood of a picture, that sort of stuff. Um, maybe overlay one image on top of another with some transparency. So these are just simple techniques. So let's start with this uh, random guy with a camera and this picture of Old San Juan. This is a photograph that I took when I went uh, to Puerto Rico last time. So what you want to do here is you want to take the magic wand and you want to select all the green stuff. So remember to click Control and Shift so that you get as much green as possible. You delete so that you'll have basically the guy. All right, and let's get rid of this screen as well. That's a little bit too much. So lower transparency and tolerance. Sorry. I'm just gonna call that good enough. So now you want to select the guy you want to copy and you want to paste him into a new layer wherever you want to put him on down here and now you have that guy kind of overlaid there taking a photo all right so that's you know basically if you want to take a picture of yourself on in front of a white or wall or whatever color and then just kind of photoshop yourself into a place that's how you do it all right um, so let's go ahead and get rid of this layer. Um, this place looks really nice, sunny. Let's say that you want to darken the mood a bit. That's uh, you know rather simple. You add a new layer. You spill the color black all over that new layer. Then you make it invisible and you select the areas where you want the light source to come from. So I'm going to go ahead and use the lamp posts here to be lighter than the rest of the area. We go back to the black layer and lighten it up All right, by deleting the selected sections. And now we use blur. So you can use fragment, you can use Gaussian, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to use Gaussian because I'm lazy like that. What you're going to do is play with the radius until you see something that you kind of like. Right? So if I go all the way, uh, this I don't like so much here. We have a sort of effect that looks nice, but then the, uh, the part over here where I wa did want to have some light is just covered completely with darkness. So maybe a little bit less. Um, let's go with something that's maybe barely visible back here. Let's see how does 150 look. Alright, so we're already in the 130s and I'm going to call 130 good enough. Alright. And then you play with the transparencies. Alright, so let's say a transparency of 175. Alright. And there you have a bit of a darker place, not as sunny, um, you know, versus the wonderful, bright, sunny place that it originally is, right? You're basically putting on shades. That's if you were looking through shades, right? And that's something that you can do to kind of change the mood of a photograph. Let's do that with, you know, people out here in the field. We'll do something similar. We'll just slather on the darkness and this time let's say that for some reason I want the image to focus on this person and this is a uh, public domain image from publicdomainimages.com so let's say that I want to focus on this person and the rest of the image will be there um, you know that's, that's a kind of decoration right it's really a picture of her that I want so we use the same effect Right, to kind of blur. This one's a really high resolution image, so um, if you have a kind of underpowered computer, it might take a while to render the changes. Once you've done that, again, you play with the transparency, see what you like. 130. 
and there you have it a photograph focusing on one person um, if you want to have the light come from somewhere else like let's say that there's a light source up here and you want to have an effect where the light is just kind of shining down you just go ahead and make it so that the lights like shining down right so maybe you do something like this or whatever shape you want to do you can get creative All right, so there we go delete and now blur And there you have an effect where basically half of the image is lighter than the other half and you can play with the transparency level however you want. Another thing that you could do is basically have your light source be like a straight line or any version of this that you want to do. All right, So that's another thing that you can do. Let's go ahead and delete this. All right. And why not? Let's just put a photographer right there. Paste into a new layer. And he's quite tiny. All right. Um, I don't remember why I have the pigeon there. I was probably going to show you more lighting stuff. But um, that's it. All right. So, you know, have fun playing around with paint.net. And let me know if you find some other techniques fun.